whose idea was this? It's hot out here. That, I've been telling you that all day. <laughs> I was like, you haven't been outside yet today. Yeah, I mean, granted, we're Minnesotans, so we, like, we're wusses when it comes to oh, heat. <laughs> it's humid, though. It's the humidity, it's not the heat. Today, we want to share some of our favorite tips and tricks for cleaning your vehicles and keeping them organized. Tom's owned, like, I don't know, 100 vehicles in his life, and so we've had to clean a lot of them to sell them. In fact, we're actually cleaning the excursion to sell it. To sell that one. So that has to be, like, extra clean. Our regular car can be pretty clean. Tom would like it to be perfectly clean, but... All the time. All the time. Meh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna show you what to use, what not to use, and how to get the job done quickly because it's hot out here. And I'm actually gonna be running this video because Dawn does not typically clean our vehicles, so I will be showing her a thing or two. All right, so let's start with... Let's just start there. <laughs> Tip number one. If you don't drive it, don't complain about no. it. No. <laughs> Figure out who in your household is passionate about keeping cars clean. All right, so before we get, begin actually cleaning anything, I open the entire vehicle up, and I do probably not what Dawn is going to do, and I take everything out. Yeah, that's okay when it comes to okay. this. So I do have garbage bags and bags to use to bring stuff in the house. All right, so first we're going to see a tour of, of the Dawn's mess. side. So everything over here was Dawn. Nope, <laughs> not true. Uh, rags, because you never know when you got to check some fluid on the excursion. <laughs> water bottles, water bottles, um, random food stuff. Yeah, so let's well, let's see what's back here, and then we'll get... This is the kids' space. So. Yeah, so then we'll start... Pool noodle. Alright, so who sat here when we went to Florida? Uh, Gage? Gage? Want to know another way we can tell? <laughs> I don't know, did he write his name? Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> uh, rocks. 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 Everywhere we went, he was filling rocks. his pockets with rocks. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, Tom is continuing to finish getting all the stuff out of there. I'll show you inside uh, my car. This isn't, this isn't actually too bad, but then I'll tell you some of the cleaners and some of the things we've learned over the years that works really well and what doesn't, what we keep in the center council now just to help keep things organized and to clean as we go. So I'll show you that, but let's just take a look in here real quick and we'll pull out anything that doesn't need to be in here. So this isn't too bad. I mean, if anything, it just, it gets dirty living on gravel. I'd seen a tip that for um, the vents, you can use a paintbrush. These ones are actually fairly wide space, so you can get in with one of these wipes. But if they are the more narrow ones, you can use a paint, uh, paintbrush. Corbin just said, he asked what the paintbrushes are for. I said, for cleaning. And he said, whenever I see toothbrushes or paintbrushes involved with cleaning, I know I want to do it because it'll be fun. <laughs> you're going to keep your cars really clean when you're older? Yeah, and yeah. I like cleaning. You, like, you do like cleaning. You always like things to be just how they're supposed to be. I am grateful that there are those of you that like cleaning. Like that you think it is fun to see something go from messy to clean and try out different cleaning products and get the right ones and... Alright, so here's everything Tom pulled out of the expedition. I had a broom in there. Was that seriously in there? Yeah. <laughs> here's what I pulled out. That's not too bad because the booster seats are going to go right back in. So, that's not too bad at all. I think you pre-cleaned. I actually did not, but... I'm going to uh, interview the kids later. I was gone yesterday. You're going to interrogate them? See if you cleaned out. <laughs> and I read a tip that you can use dryer sheets to remove bugs from bumpers and the fronts of your vehicles really easily. So you're supposed to just get it wet, spray it with water, and then use a dryer sheet. So we're going to... You think it just has something to do with the, the grittiness of this material? Nothing, not... I have no idea. If you know, let us know why this is supposed to work. Or I've also heard that Norwex cloths work really well too. Um, this is an actual Norwex cloth, so I thought if that doesn't work, we'll we'll try this. Or maybe I'll try this and you try that. Is it working pretty well? I don't know how yours is working, but mine's working good. Mine's working well, I think. I mean, it takes a little elbow grease, right? Yeah, again, Are we I, racing? Think, <laughs> I think it's just the grittiness of the, the texture. material. Yeah. Like, how old are these bugs on here? Um, we've never done this. Oh, okay. So some of these should be pretty... Oh. oh. It's like a brand new bump. Yeah. So what's our... I think either of these would work fine. 
Um, no, I'd go with what I'm using. I'm not gonna. So you can throw it away and you don't have gross bugs on your microfiber cloth? It was fun, fun to try out. That these, actually did work really sheets. well. So these should get added to a car cleaning kit. And since I did it to the front of your vehicle, I would like you to do it to the front of mine. <laughs> Seriously? That's what, you, that's what I get from you? <laughs> that was really funny. You really think I would do that? I know, absolutely, you would not do that. I just... I would pay one of the kids it to would, do it. <laughs> would it speak your love language right it now? It would make me so happy if you like... Cared. Yep. I know. I. I really have tried <laughs> to be a care. cleaner person. Like, I really have tried. I don't care. Like, I just don't care. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this carpet clean back here, because it's pretty gross. So I borrowed, my sister has, it's not a little green machine because it's purple, but it's like that same thing. She said it's worked really well. She's been able to get coffee out of their white carpet with it with no solution. But my brother had recommended a citrus cleaner. And so I'm just gonna use that. We're gonna go all out. I don't wanna waste any time. Uh, the skeptic is here, so we'll see if we can get it clean or not. You mean the inspector? The inspector, that's what I meant. I, so those are around $100 on Amazon. It was free to just borrow. Well, yeah, it worked out great <laughs> borrowing Dianez. I would say for how well it worked on the car, especially if you had cloth seats, you could use it on that too. But also if you have kids or pets, I mean, Diana uses it all the time on their carpet. I think it would be a good investment to have that you could use in your house and in your car. So for our first pass, it's looking significantly better. So I diluted the citrus cleaner, one part cleaner to 10 parts water per the instructions on the bottle. But there's a couple spots that are not coming out. So my brother had said, you can use it more concentrated. Just put some on a clean rag and put it right on the spot and try and get it out that way. So I think I'm gonna go grab the bottle and see if we can get these last few spots out just a little bit better. Wow, that actually worked really well. I was skeptical. <laughs> so that's actually like a professional grade orange cleaner, but uh, my brother used to do carpet cleaning, professional cleaning, so he had recommended it. But there is something similar on Amazon that he has suggested before, so I'm gonna link to that as well. And of course the really gratifying part is seeing all the dirty water in here and all the dirt at the bottom of it. It's pretty remarkable how much it can pick up and suck out of there and just that small area that I was doing. And then one other spot I want to try it on, as long as we're back here, is uh, there's some barbecue sauce here. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get that out too. All right, let's talk cleaners for a minute. I used to always use like baby wipes or paper towels and it would always leave the white lint and fuzz over everything. So Tom introduced me to these, are these the, yeah, these are the cleaning wipes. I don't prefer the, like the armor all wipes, like mm -mm. armor, like actually where it's applying armor all. I right. don't like those, they're too greasy and oily. And they attract more dust. Yeah, because we live on gravel. So we usually keep one of these in the center council and then whenever we're like sitting somewhere or waiting, Tom will pull them out and just start, he, he'll be like I wiping even, around me. I'm like, okay, okay. I, just like. <laughs> On a, or, on a, or on a long road trip, I may also clean everything I can reach. <laughs> yeah. So this has been helpful though. And these, even though, I don't know, how much do these cost? Uh, I think they're like six bucks. Yeah. So it's a little bit of an investment. But my ultimate favorite cleaner when it comes to car interior is actually the totally awesome cleaner from the dollar store. I had found out about this when we were trying to get our last minivan really clean. It was destroyed. It had light gray interior. And like the plastic on the back of the seats where the kids put their feet, it was horrible. So I was Googling, trying to figure out how to get it clean. And someone said, go to the dollar store, spend a dollar. This worked awesome. So I just used a spray bottle to put on and took a little scrub brush to it. And it worked great. And then you also got these other two. Mm -hmm. That's the leather wipes for the seats. Mm -hmm. um... If we were to say like, here is your car cleaning kit, like everything you like the like our favorite tools for cleaning, like what would we put in it? And I have to be really honest, Tom, I think these are good for mobile cleaning, like keeping them in the car, but they were leaving lint behind too. I think the best if you're at home cleaning your car was the awesome cleaner diluted in a spray bottle with a good old fashioned microfiber cloth. Well, let's be honest, Dawn. I know that they were leaving some lint, yeah. but do you ever really actually care that there's a little bit of lint left? No. Because I don't know that 
I'm just saying, <laughs> like I said, I think if you want to keep a container of those in the car for when you're out and about, I think that's a good idea. But if you're just at home, I think you spend a dollar on this and you take out one of your microfiber cloths and you get just as good of a clean from it. That's all I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's Because I'm like the cheapo one here, right? Tom would buy these all day long, but I'm like... Not yeah, that bad, I'm well, just saying that, we're different. But, okay, no but way. that's true, but you're also the one who will buy these and not clean the car with them. And there's that too. So... Right. So, my so recommendation is Maybe this. mine is actually cheaper because I use them. Right. So this is my recommendation, but if you have someone who will actually do it with more expensive products, let them do it. Okay. <laughs> is that the Anyways, moral of the story? That's the moral of the story. Another tip that I've found really helpful is to use a stiff brush in conjunction with your vacuum cleaner to get everything up. So some of this upholstery it really hangs on to little things like grass and crumbs and pet hair. So if you use a brush to loosen all that along with the shot vac, you can get it all out and it looks, it's like they heard me talking about pet hair. <laughs> and it looks like new. <laughs> But we do know, I mean, we do, now that we have a newer vehicle, if you've followed us for a while, you've seen our Prius story, which I'll link to that video, because that was pretty funny. <laughs> so we we feel like we've like worked our way up to like having nicer vehicles now, and we are trying to be committed to taking better care of them. But it's still, when I look at my priority list for the day, it is like so far down that I'm glad that you care more about it and do take the time to take care of our vehicles. Really? Because sometimes you seem irritated that I'm watching your car. Well, I mean, sometimes when we're like in a fast food drive through and Tom is like reaching around me and all that, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But I am grateful for it. So we didn't actually really get to see much of what you were doing with the excursion. And is that because it wasn't actually coming very clean? Was it the not as fun? Ex no, the excursion, the interiors, it's rough. Like yeah. it has 365,000 on it. It, the interior has seen better days and there's a lot in the excursion you're just never gonna get clean yeah, because so it's, it's so worn down. It's not it's as fun to clean. It's 16 years old. Yeah, so it makes it a little less fun no, to No, this we could bring it back to yeah. like showroom condition. Yeah. The excursion, not so much. Yeah. It's a 10 footer. Yeah. So what's your magic car wash? All right, well, because we live in the country, you have to pressure wash. So you pressure wash all the dirt and mud off first out of the wheel wells and everything. Then I use just the cheapest concentrate car wash soap. And I measure it really accurately because I think it's like one cap per every five gallon bucket. Oh my. <laughs> so I just measure about one cap. 12 caps, yeah. Um, because what I'll do is then I just, I prefer to wash a vehicle by myself. Yep, we <laughs> Which know. Which I think everybody does. I don't know. I'm just curious if people would comment. Are you a like, leave me alone, let me get it done? Or are you a like, hey, let's make it a social event? I just have a system about it. And it's what I used to do as a teenager for fun on every my day. own cars, every day after school. <laughs> so it's just my thing. I also like these mitts. I don't, this one works, but it's not my favorite. So I don't put it on. I used to put the other mitts on. This one I just hold like a yep. rag. And then I pressure wash it, keep everything wet, start from the top down, front to back, mm -hmm. rinse each section as you go, wheels last. And you did finish getting all the bugs off the front too, which yeah, looks really good. Yeah, the front looks awesome. Yeah. It took a while. <laughs> but you like that kind of stuff. I do. <laughs> and Tom does usually try to find the WeatherTech floor mats, which often you can find them on Marketplace, which has been really yes. good. I think I've only bought them brand new one time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I always buy them from somebody else off a of marketplace who they like sold their car and it, sell them with it or whatever. Yeah. We okay. should show everybody how humid it is here with all the haze in here. Yeah, I don't know how you show how humid it is. Maybe that shows a little bit. Yeah, show that way, the trees. My phone says it's 91% humidity. 91%? That's pretty humid without it raining. Yeah. yeah. So Tom just pressure washed the floor mats. So we'll get those put back in. So these ones, they don't really come perfectly super uh -huh. clean anymore. I'm kind of wondering if we got some of the citrus cleaner out. Um, I'm sure you could. Yeah. But like, so where, where you are with the whole vehicle, yeah. I am with the floor mats. You don't care because they're just going to get they're, dirty. My, my feelings are the floor mats are in there to protect the carpet. Yeah. And so if the floor mats are a little dirty, like as far as stuff that will visibly show, but mm -hmm. it is what it, it is. is. They're yeah. just, it's a mat. It's a 
I yeah. look at the formats as like a tool. So, I mean, overall, like I said in the beginning, I think finding a person in your household that like, like Corbin would be a great one to pass the baton to as he gets a little bit older for being in charge of cleaning vehicles because he enjoys it. So I think it's important just to find someone in your household who likes it. Like if I said, Corbin, do you want to work in the kitchen or go clean out a car? He would be like all over cleaning out the car, right? So find someone that can take ownership of it, make sure they have the right tools and, the, and stuff and just let them be in charge so then the rest of us don't have to worry about it so much. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gage just came in and he wants to help too. So I will give you one of these, Gage, and you can help. All right, so will you clean down here? Yeah, that's that what thing? I would do. Awesome, thank you. I feel like we're doing a Tom Sawyer trick here. Don't ask them to help clean. Just start cleaning, get out the toothbrushes, make it look fun. <laughs> Another thing Tom's really good at to keep the cars less messy is he's very good that like when we get back home everyone takes everything that they brought in there grab everything and take it back in the house and then <laughs> as far as what we keep in the car um i try to just keep a little container that just has so i don't like to keep a purse or have like band-aids and scissors and random stuff like that in my purse with me or a bag because i i just don't want to carry that all with me so i'd rather just keep it in the car and have you know, just the random stuff that you might need, tape and duct tape and band-aids, scissors, um, plastic bags in the car, and then not have to worry about having it on me all the time. Now that we're our kids are older and we don't have diaper bags anymore, so right. we just try to keep some of that stuff in there and usually you're pretty prepared. But other than that, we don't really have like a lot of organization in the car or anything. When the kids were a little smaller, I had like one plastic bin that we would just throw the toys or books or stuff that they would have to entertain themselves, but other than that, we don't really do much to organize it or so I don't really have any good tips for that or anything <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know but it does feel good to have it to have it all cleaned out again and the excursion all cleaned out so we can bless it on to its next owner <laughs> so that'll be good but I would love to know if you have any good tips when it comes to car cleaning so are there any products that you use faithfully any tips that you have, if you would share those down below, that is super helpful because we're always all ears when it comes to that. Um, but now that we have that done, we can focus on weeding and watering the garden. I think we need to do water trees and mm -hmm. get some outside stuff done. I don't know. What did you say the humidity was just a little while ago? Uh, <laughs> when I woke up this morning, it said 99% and I thought, <laughs> how can that be? Right. And it was not raining. Right. <laughs> it is really humid in Minnesota right now. so. I don't know. We'll probably get this stuff done outside and then go back inside. <laughs> so we hope that you have a really great weekend. We love you and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.